Today we're going to talk about camera straps. What's going on YouTube? I'm Robert Hall and today I want to talk to you about a few different camera strap systems that you might be choosing from. Just so you guys know what we're going to be covering, I'm going to be covering a Think Tank holster system, a Black Rapid dual strap, and the infamous hold fast system. First I want to say if you're using a neck strap and you're doing a lot of photography work, you should really consider investing in something else. Take it from experience, I used a neck strap for probably about my first three or four years before all these other systems got really popular popular and it really hurt my neck when I would do two three weddings in a row especially with a 70 to 200 being my favorite lens that caused a lot of problems I had a really bad neck ache I had really bad posture there's just simply a better way now most of the options that we're going over in this video deal with two cameras specifically all three can be used for two cameras but I'm gonna hit on options for single camera use as well so first off let's start with the black rapid so this is the Black Rapid Double. Now there's quite a few options from Black Rapid, but this is probably one of the most popular. They also have another double style that does it over a single shoulder. I will say, while I didn't want to invest in another Black Rapid strap because I purchased the Holdfast, I do think that's a better style than this Black Rapid Double version. But for the purpose of this review, I'm gonna talk about the one I have. So first off, can you trust a Black Rapid? Can you trust that little base on the bottom? as well as this clip to put it on. Let me show you guys up close. This is how the base goes on. It's very simple, it just clicks right on, and then you tighten this down to make sure it's secure and that this clamp won't open. And boom, you're ready to go. So I used the Black Rapid for about three years with a lot of use. I'm talking very high volume. I was out shooting quite a bit. And not once in using it did I ever have this unscrew. I would basically, at the beginning of every shoot, I would just give myself a little bit of a turn to make sure that that was tight and that was all I needed. I never had a single issue where I felt that this was unsecure. If you're leery about trusting this type of system and letting your camera hang all day, I never had an issue with yours without any type of additional safety strap. This way you guys can see the back. So when the Black Rapid has two cameras on it, I really like it. One thing I do not like about it is as soon as you remove one of these cameras, everything feels really unbalanced and it kind of slides everything whichever way has more balance. Now, you can switch the Black Rapid double so that it only operates as a single strap. It's actually somewhat easy. Take it off. You can see there's this Velcro strap on the back. You remove that and boom. Now you've got a single sling without any of the extra so you can go across the body. But you also have to, if you have a place where you find it really comfortable, then you have to loosen it so that the camera goes down a little bit further. Otherwise, it's a little bit odd. I just hate putting this together. One thing is when you have cameras on it and you want to take this thing on and off, it's a little bit of a pain. It's almost always best to remove the cameras first. And I just did that backwards. One thing I don't like about the double camera system is taking it on and off while it still has the cameras on it. It's a little bit of a pain because you get one off and then it's kind of swinging at whatever's behind you or you go to take the second one off and it's bouncing around hitting it. It's a little bit easier with just camera bodies but once you have lenses on it, it's a bit more of a pain. And one thing I don't like about the Black Rapid system and I'll show you this when I compare it to the Holdfast. A lot of times as a wedding photographer, I wanna really put the camera up in the air. As you can see, if I do this, then I'm, I'm restricted. I'm not even fully extending my arm at all. And it's pretty much stuck there. So if you wanna take it off, you have to unscrew this all the way down and remove this. Now that's only a few seconds, but for me, someone in wedding photography, a lot of times there's something happening, a little bit of a ways on the dance floor, and I gotta go up quick in an instant. This has caused me to miss quite a few shots just because of how long it takes me to get on and off the camera. I'll be contrasting that with the hold fast shortly. But before that, I also wanna talk about how the weight sits on your shoulder with the Black Rapid. I found after using this for quite a long time, if I have heavy lenses on here all day, do two cameras, I found that it kind of makes my shoulders start to roll forward a little bit. And it starts kind of forcing my posture forward. And 
I don't know if you guys are focused on your posture, but it's actually pretty bad to have your shoulders being rolled forward all the time. So that's one thing that I don't like about it. And another thing that contrasts with the hold fast. So if you guys haven't seen a hold fast, here it is. One glaring thing that you can see is that it's leather. It's a lot sharper of a strap than the Black Rapids are. The Black Rapids are pretty stealthy and if you're doing primarily event work, they can work good for that. But one thing I love is when I match this with like my British tan belt, British tan shoes, and I'm out on a wedding, I get a ton of compliments on how good the whole getup looks. You can hear this from any Holdfast owner. They will all tell you that they get a ton of compliments on either how stylish or just how awesome of a setup that this looks to be. You kind of look like a Bruce Wayne double gun holster slinger photographer. Now Holdfast actually uses Black Rapids patent for their clip technology, but their clip is significantly different than what you'd find on the Black Rapid. So here you can see the difference. Now this one, it took me a little bit to get used to because it is a different method for actually clipping it on there. So for the hold fast, you put this lever through, and then you have to pull on this black strap to pull that out, and then you can attach it and it clips on. But again, like the Black Rapid, this thing is not going anywhere. I've never had any issue with this coming off, even if you pull on it and try to get that screw off, it's not happening. So one thing I love about the Holdfast is how it actually sits on your shoulders with a single camera. With a single camera on it, it does not slide to one side and pull down over that angle. It seems as if the weight is evenly distributed across your shoulders. What I've done in the past is clip the additional one right here on my belt to ensure that it's not going anywhere and then that gives a really nice fit. So since this strap cannot convert into a single strap, it's really nice that it actually balances better when you're using it with a single camera. I find that the way it's crossed in the back, the weight sits a little bit further back on my shoulders and a little bit more outside my shoulders. And the benefit that that has is all day, the weight of the cameras is pulling my shoulders back. It's pulling me into a more upright and proper posture position. So I have found that I just feel way more comfortable all day having the weight on my back with these as opposed to the Black Rapids straps. It just feels better. It's not that the Black Rapids like feels really bad, but big lenses all day would roll my shoulders forward, whereas this just pulls me back and I feel all day I feel really upright, tall, and have a great posture and presence. Now I told you how the Black Rapid was quite slow to get off. We're talking seconds here, but seconds matter in photography. And what I really like, I thought I hated this at first. I thought I hated it putting, putting it on because it was a little bit different, but for the benefit it provides for quick release, it's worth it for the extra effort it takes to put it on because it's just a quick yank and your camera is off and in the air. All I have to do is grab that little black strap and you pull that out, give it a little bit of pressure upwards, and this thing comes flying right off, which I absolutely love. So again, I'll let you guys see that. That's really cool. Although, hold fast. Why couldn't you make that little black piece right there? Why couldn't you make that leather? I mean, come on, the whole thing is leather and these things aren't cheap. They're like 300 bucks. It should be leather. I'm pissed about that. Next up, we're gonna talk about something that doesn't have any straps and doesn't have anything to do with your back at all. This is the Think Tank belt. So this sits on your waist or hips and we've got some plates on the side that allow you to slide your camera in and out. So let's set that up real quick. Here's the plate. That screw, just like a tripod, goes right into the base of your camera. Now it does take an Allen wrench and that Allen wrench, press it down and it kind of clips right in. Really easy to get in and out if you need to tighten this up. You can see on the bottom there, it tells you which way the lens goes, as well as telling you which one to use, whether it's on your right or left hand side. So we got a 70 to 200 right here. You slide it down, which even if you just slide it down and don't lock it, it's really not going anywhere. I can move all around. As long as you don't go jump high enough for it to slide up and out, you're okay. So it can sit there really comfortably and you don't have to worry about it. And for added security, there's a lock right here and then that thing isn't coming up at all no matter what you do. So there's a few people that make these. This is the Think Tank. There's also the very popular Spider holster. Um, I've seen a few other brands as well. I do really like how this feels. It feels awesome to not have anything on your shoulders and it's a really great way to get your 
hands free, arms free, you can bend over without cameras shaking around. But the reason that I don't actually use this is because there's the one primary point where I'm concerned about the safety of my camera. When it's in my hand, when it's in my hand is the biggest point that I'm trying to protect my camera. Especially, I get on dance floors, people on the dance floor are flailing their arms. I mean, especially when I'm getting in there with the 14 to 24. I've gotten nailed in the face before by a wedding guest and it's just because they're trying to have a good time and I'm trying to be in the thick of things. And there's been times where I've been bumped enough that you lose your handle on your camera. And I just don't like the idea of my camera not being protected when it's in my hands because that's where it spends all day. Yes, I can put it on my hip very briefly and go do a few things, but this doesn't help me when I'm trying to protect my camera the most. Now this depends on where you find the Black Rapid or even the Holdfast most comfortable. I find my Holdfast a little bit more comfortable when it's quite high up at my sides and I just like the way the straps go, but when I wore the Black Rapid, I actually wore my cameras a little bit lower around my hips. And one problem that I ran into is when I would crouch down like this, especially when I have a flash on, or my 70 to 200, I would find that my 70 to 200 or my flash would actually bump into the ground. Whereas this is on your hip the whole time. So even when you get really low to the ground, it's not a problem. It's not really coming near the ground too much. Maybe if you have like a really long flash modifier, like a mag bounce, you might run into that issue. But as you can see with this one, it's just dragging right here on the ground with just the speed light. So in closing, Get rid of the neck strap. Like if you're if you're shooting a lot, please do it for your health. Get rid of the neck strap, get something better, like a double holster, single holster, even the slings that go across your body. Hold fast makes them for cheaper, like the camera swag brand. There's also black rapid versions that just go across your body. It's way better to put it on your shoulder than it is to put on your neck. And if you're in double, then no question, two neck straps is just Ooh, a terrible idea. Your cameras are both right here clunking together or over the independent shoulders and they don't really stick well. Ditch all of that and definitely get some type of system. Now, beware, there are cheap knockoffs of the Black Rapid. It was so popular. There are a ton of cheap knockoffs and they have really sketchy plates. That was the first thing I did. I bought some $25 quick strap. It came with the worst base I've ever seen in terms of going in and it would just rotate on the base all day and not give you a secure fit, not protect your camera at all. So avoid that route. If you're in a photography niche where you're not at any risk for getting bumped in the hands, shoulders, while you're holding your camera, if you're doing very methodical stuff, then I highly recommend a spider holster, a think tank holster, something along this route because it really does give you the maximum kind of freeness with the rest of your body when you're not using your camera or holding your camera. If you think there is any chance of you getting bumped by anybody, whether it's a guest or your talent, or whatever you're doing, or you're just clumsy, I do not recommend the spider holster. Because the best thing about a black rabbit, even if you're clumsy, if you just don't really have your stuff together and you're holding this camera and you just drop it out of nowhere, it's gonna be okay. It might bump into something, but it's not gonna come crashing to the ground. And that's the most important part. And between the Black Rapid and the Holdfast, there's that minor difference of being able to release the camera a little bit quicker on the Holdfast, as well as the posture bonus, which I don't know, that could just be for my body. I'm not sure that's how it's gonna be for everybody, but the Holdfast does just feel better on my shoulders and pulls them back and makes me, my back feel better after a long day of work, whereas this one just drag me down. So that's why I like the Holdfast. Of course, there's a style benefit too. The whole fast, it does. It looks better than the Black Rapid. Yes, it's gonna call attention. If you want a low profile, maybe go with the Black Rapid, but there's like a Black Hold Fast too. It's more the colored and different leathers that are really loud on the Hold Fast. Of course, there's links to buy them in the description. Be prepared, the Hold Fast stuff is quite pricey. Oh, one more benefit I didn't talk about with the Hold Fast is that you can add a third camera across your chest using these. And you can also add like additional bags and pouches to these side straps if you want. But those are out of my price range. Those little bags are like a hundred bucks. The back bag is like $400, no. A little too rich for my blood, but those options are out there as well. So take a look at the different ones, see what works best for you. If you have any questions, you can find me and thousands of other photographers in the photography gear chat group. 
on Facebook. The link is in the description. Follow me at Rob Hall Photo on Instagram. Like the video if it helped you out. Hit subscribe if you want to see more. And until next time, keep on shooting YouTube.